All right, welcome back to another episode of our van build. And we are going to be installing a max air fan in this episode and windows. So we got three windows install, max air fan. So we're gonna be cutting some pretty big holes in the van. Got this off of eBay. This is for the ProMaster roof vent adapter. It's pretty neat. Just throw this on here like this. Mark it out. Obviously measure, make sure you're not gonna hit the cross members in the ceiling. But uh, it's made out of PVC. It's uh, CNC'd. So it's pretty, pretty neat. Like I said, go on eBay. I'll put a link in the uh, description. And then the, the flange, you gotta screw down. So I've already done the measuring, got some stuff laid out here. I'm gonna pop a couple holes in here, cut it out, and get this thing mounted. So wish me luck, and uh, let's get into it. All right, here we go. Got the wife down there. We did this first one. We just checked because there's a beam in here. This other beam's up this way. So we just double checked to make sure we were good in case we had to scoot it this way. Then this hole would have been all right. But we got the second one in. Now we'll be doing the jigsaw. Let's get, uh, let's get the jigsaw in. Make sure it fits. Make sure. There's that. Look at that. First try. Fits like a champ. All right, time to file down the edges. All right, time to paint. Paint these uh, rough edges or these these bare edges where we cut. Got a little rust-oleum, truck bed coating, stops rust, just anything like that, just to cover it so it doesn't rust. Time to put some PL adhesive on this and glue this down. All right, we got the adapter secured down with PL adhesive, marine adhesive. Got the, uh, I think this is called butyl tape. On the fan bracket.
take this. We will put it down like that. I made a wooden, wooden brace underneath. And what I'm gonna do is I got a little uh, drill bit here for a pilot and I'm gonna do these four holes on the edges, pre-drill these. Wife's down below, she'll be holding the bracket up. Get these four corners screwed in and then we'll get the rest of the screws in and go from there. All right, that definitely wasn't any fun sitting on this uh, roof in the heat and the sun, but uh, got this PL marine adhesive all put down, put it over each screw as you probably saw, filled up all the gaps. Now I'm gonna let this sit overnight and tomorrow we're gonna take that flex seal stuff like you've seen on TV and we're gonna paint that over this whole thing, I'm probably gonna do three coats. But reading the bottle, you gotta make sure it's cured fully so it may be a week or two process. We'll get a coat on, then it's supposed to rain here in a couple days. So once it dries up again, we'll put another coat and just kinda go with the weather. Uh, try to get it on and give it two days before it rains. All right, we got the fan finished up. We got the uh, flex seal installed took us a little bit of time because of all the rain and stuff but uh not too bad and we've tested this thing out no leaks it's done really well so let's uh let's get into getting these windows installed in the van and uh, go from there all right another big day we are cutting three big holes in the van for our windows uh always nerve-wracking cutting holes in the van so let's just hope this is the last time that we have to cut. I'm a little nervous, but Kurt seems pretty confident, so I've got confidence in him. Let's hope this goes as planned. We're gonna be installing three windows, three CR Lawrence windows into the van today. We made this template, which I don't understand why in the world spending that kind of money on these windows, they can't give you a template. At least we're made in the U.S., so at least they got something going on. But we got this taped up. Like I said, you just got to measure, figure out where you want it in your van. We're going to drill a couple pilot holes on the top of this outside. Then we're going to move this template outside, draw, trace around it, and then we'll be able to cut it out. One thing, the reason I'm holding these shears is getting this bracket piece right here off see people using a grinder with a cutoff wheel to cut these little pieces off and you got metal shavings flying everywhere which I know you will have shavings when you cut this with a jigsaw or whatever you're gonna use but this thing's pretty cool it'll get right in here cut these four little tabs off heat it up with a heat gun and then pop it off let's get into it let's uh, cut three nice size holes in the van and get some windows installed. All right, you ready? Ugh. Cut her out. Safety glasses. Man, so focused on this. Get it right. There we go, much better.
Wow, it fits first try. <laughs> oh, electricians can do it all, I'm telling you, man. Because <laughs> uh, it'd be so much easier, they just put a template in the box, you know? But dude, that fits. That's insane. Wow, amazing. I mean, there is, there ain't much play either. Holy cow, there's just a touch. Wow, that's amazing. It ain't the prettiest looking hole, but. All right, we're gonna put some spray paint in a little cup and get these edges real good. Put a couple coats of uh, Rust-Oleum on there, let it dry, then we'll pull this tape, put the window in. But let's, uh, while, that, while the wife's doing that, I'm gonna go over here and start doing this other window. All right, we got some paint on it, it's dry, and let's slot it in here. Now, come here, babe, you're gonna have to hold this. Cause I'm gonna have to screw it from the inside. more to go. This one went off pretty good without a hitch. No big snafus. And the door opens all the way without hitting it. Far enough back. That'll be right over our bed at the foot side. Good job, Daddy. What do you think? Yeah, that's good, man. Not bad. Not bad at all. We only had to drill once. Yay. Cut. 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 Sorry. Get Cut it once. one time. Yep. Yeah, good, I like it. Oh, got it. Go. It's like a glove. Number two. Cut in, it 
fits. We're grinding the sharp edges away. Gonna let the wife do some painting and get this last wind installed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.